Do you ever feel like your memory is not quite as good as it used to be? You are not alone. Many people have reduced memory as they get older. In fact, the same trend is seen in almost every species. My project is to determine how memory formation changes with age. When you get older, one thing that could be changing in the brain is its eating habits. It could become more hungry or less hungry. Either way, the brain needs energy for memory formation, just like your car needs fuel for the engine to run. In the brain, the cells that make up the engine are called neurons. What fuel neurons use for memory formation is not well known. One type of fuel commonly found in the brain is sugar, not too unlike the sugar in the sugar cubes you put in your coffee. What happens with sugar in the brain is it's broken down into smaller molecules that can be more easily turned into energy. One of those small molecules is called lactate. In all animals, there are cells surrounding the neurons, the brain's engine, called glia. Potentially, glia could be the ones providing the fuel, and that fuel may very well be lactate. Alternatively, neurons could be producing their own fuel without the help of glia. In order to determine who is providing the fuel, I am using Drosophila melanogaster, the fruit fly pictured here. You may recognize them from having seen them flying around your bananas at home. Flies are perfect for this study because I can manipulate them genetically and if I want to test them when they're old, I only have to wait one month. Right now, I'm generating flies that have altered lactate production in either neurons or glia. With these genetically altered flies, I will be able to test which cells help with memory and which may actually hinder it. Now, you may be wondering, what can be learned about humans from an animal so different? Flies are so much smaller than us, and we do not even have wings. With that in mind, I would urge you to consider that flies have a brain with neurons and glia just like ours. They even share 60% of the same genes. So with this study, the fuel for age-related memory impairment could be determined, and this could be applied to humans one day, such that when you get older, your memory could be improved too. Thank you.